Hey, <laughs> I'm Mike. I'm 17 and I live in Queens, New York. I'm a visual artist. Uh, I do digital drawing, I draw on paper, sometimes I sculpt things, and sometimes I shoot films. Um, I was like making comic books in like elementary school, and I remember my teacher would find them in my desk drawer, and then she would rip them up. I don't know, she's like an old school teacher, and she didn't <laughs> like me making comics with my friends. We were like donuts. And we had like superpowers. <laughs> um, actually, like third grade, I took a course over the summer on Photoshop, and I've been working with it ever since. I like drawing things that are like set in reality. Like, I don't like super beautiful things. It just seems a bit boring. Wow, okay. That's hard. I can tell you who's my, who I don't like. I can tell you who I think is overrated. Okay. And I'm gonna name these artists, but not to discredit their skills or abilities, but I think they're a bit overrated, especially these days. Um, Basquiat, Keith Haring, um, Andy Warhol. Yeah, I, I don't like how pop art has become like monetized and just become like t-shirt patterns at like Beauty Club or H&M or something. To me that isn't art, to me that's just like the I Love New York sticker that you can buy at like a tourist shop. Well, my immediate goal is to be self-sufficient, like sustain myself with art. Um, I mean, I've been working hard at art, so I've become like decent at it, and I just want to be able to keep doing it while sustaining like my life. Yeah, I'm entering like ten or so like contests. I'm um, just seeing like how far I can go with art to, to like appeal with others. Um, right now I'm drawing some stuff for this like L. Ron Hubbard Society of Illustrators contest and that's gonna be like the deadline for that's gonna be seven days or so. Um, but after that I'm gonna enter a bunch of other like art contests and see if I can get scholarships for public school. Yeah, museums are great. I think museums are really underrated these days. Like, I think where art is progressing now, I'm a bit worried. It's become like just something pretty to look at on Tumblr that you just reblog or you just like scroll down. You can't really appreciate art. See, museums, you like they're made for art. You know, there's like a sense of calmness. You can appreciate it. I don't like though how like some museums like have names that can just you know. That can like scare some people, like the Museum of Modern Art. When you see something like that, you don't look at each like piece of art individually. You just see like, oh, I don't understand it. It's modern, you know. Like you'll take a piece of trash, and you'll just call it modern art. That's not modern art. That's what is. That's what you think is at the Museum of Modern Art. So museums are great, uh, but honestly, I would have my stuff at like a gallery or something. Probably the Metropolitan Museum. It's just, it's not even the art there that I really appreciate, which I do, but it's just like, when you go in there, everything just feels alive, especially because it's just, you know, some of the stuff is just hundreds of years old, and it's just very calming, relaxing, and it's like, it's, you can't really compare it to anything, like, it doesn't even feel like you're in a museum anymore, it just feels like you're just exploring different worlds. Probably music, probably oh, like animal collectives. I guess I'd bring like some pencils and paper and I don't know, I guess like food would be a problem, right? <laughs> um, I have a website. It's michael.lee. 
Cargo.mx. It's uh, I use a free version of Cargo Collective. Um, yeah, I just I don't really like the social aspect of art. Everyone's trying to like impress other people or like join the art community. Um, like, I like Cargo. It's just like you just show your art and it's just there for other people to see. Even like no one can really like reblog it or whatever. It's just it exists. You heard it first on X Logo.